Hey everyone, this is Eric Thorn. In today's video, we're talking about what you can learn from the INFP personality type. Now, the one thing, the one lesson I think all personality types should take on from observing the INFP is it is very much possible to change yourself, to change and to better yourself, to work on yourself, to empower yourself, to become a better person than you were yesterday. I think a lot of people see the self as something static or fixed. They think they are stuck with a certain set of emotions or limitations or feelings. But I've come to learn from studying the INFP that that is far from the case. When I study INFPs, I see that it's possible to change. I see that it's possible to grow. INFPs teach me that it's possible to expand your mind, to think of things from different perspectives and to find ways to combine different perspectives and ideas to see yourself in new light. I think a lot of people have a misconception about INFP and that is that INFP is um, stuck or attached to their own identity. I'd say from my experience that's far from the case. INFPs are always thinking about, sure, their identity, but they don't see the identity, the self, as something static. When INFPs describe themselves, and you can test this, ask an INFP to describe themselves, and then ask them another hour later, or the next day, to describe themselves again, you'll see that how they see themselves is something very broad and very changeable. INFPs see themselves as very transformative beings. They see themselves as uh, butterflies that come out from a cocoon, and then go back to that same cocoon. INFPs are always going through that transformative stage of going into a cocoon state of self-care and self-development. And after that, and after struggling inside that cocoon and working on developing the strength inside, they come out and they merge and they come emerge as stronger people. When I hang out and interact with INFPs, I feel a sense of peace. I feel relaxed. INFPs are one of the few types that can make me truly at ease. When I'm with INFPs, I can open up and I can talk about whatever is on my mind. INFPs create the space around them where anything is welcome. And they enjoy hearing you talk about yourself. And one of the best things about INFPs is they don't judge. They don't hold what you say against you. They don't hold your past against who you are. INFPs might know your past. They might know where they, you come from, but they don't limit you by it. They know that even though you've had a certain past or even though you've had certain struggles, they see that you are capable of being more than that. INFPs are therefore very, very much accepting and encouraging people to be around. Beyond that, I think everyone can learn to employ those kind of strategies that INFPs do. INFPs show that we don't always have to insert ourselves into everything. We don't have to plug ourselves in every situation or social setting. We don't have to push our own opinion or agenda on everyone else. We can give other people space and we can create a sense of harmony together with others. Sometimes... The best way to have an influence in the world is to pull yourself back from it. INFPs show that it's possible to become the most powerful person in the room by being the most meek. INFPs show that it's possible to move dynamics and to change a situation by removing yourself from it. INFPs show that it's possible to redirect or thwart a conflict or dilemma in a discussion by letting go of your own. When INFPs show me these things, they also show me the capacities for all of us if we learn to not always do the obvious thing. Yeah, sometimes we might think that uh, there are cause and effect to things. That means if I need something done, I have to go and do the straightforward thing. I have to just go and get it. But a lot of the time, that's not the truth. That's not how things need to be done. A lot of time, it's more effective to pull yourself back from that situation. Sometimes the best way to get what you want 
is to pull yourself back from the things that you don't want. INFPs show us that we have to think about things in a bigger light. It's not just about uh, want or expectation or need. It's about what's deeper underneath. What are your intentions? And what is your purpose for doing something a certain way? I came to understand INFPs a lot better after studying Lao Tzu's uh, Tao Te Ching. In the Tao Te Ching, he described something known as the Tao. And for me, how I interpret the Tao is as a greater global force that makes everything all right. I think INFPs often believe that there is a greater global force that is going to make everything right. There is a kind of cosmic karma in the world, a kind of energy or a kind of force in the world that is making everything right. And when we interfere with and try to control this too tight, we make it worse, we corrupt it. We have to be careful with how we manage the world and we have to think about how we approach and manage life. That means hold on too tight to your relationships and you might lose them. And hold on too much to your money or status and you might lose that as well. So the INFPs show us that often the best way to guard your riches is to not flaunt them. The best way to have a happy and committed relationship is to not hold on to it too tightly and to give it space to blossom. So this kind of an attitude is something that I think is very relaxing and reassuring to people. You know, we live in a world with so much stress, so much anxiety. People are always forcing everything. They're forcing conversations, forcing connections, forcing work, forcing success. They're always forcing themselves out of bed, into life, into everything they do. There is a force with everything they do, and that force is exhausting. INFPs show us that we might not need that force. Perhaps there is a way to manage our energy and our boundaries and how we connect with and interact with the world. Maybe there is a way to find a way to flow with the world. For me, flow is something very important. The aspect of being able to move with the way things are rather than to go against the way things are. The ability to let go of something and therefore to embody it fully. As soon as you try to flow, you become conscious and you lose it. We can't force flow. We have to let it happen. We have to let it emerge spontaneously. Iron of Peace show me that space of breathing, of taking a step back and of closing my eyes and of letting go. And in doing so, they teach me how to flow and how to find balance with the world. And so INFPs are often the balancing agents of the world. I see INFPs as people that mediate and negotiate between all the energies that are around us all the time. They find ways to manage and to move with everything that's happening in the world. And this is kind of something I think everyone should learn to apply. Learn to see in the world everyone around you as an energy. Everyone around you represents a certain force or a certain energy. Think about ways on you can move with and engage with and interact with this energy without blocking it or getting in the way of it. That means don't get in anybody else's way of their passion or their purpose, of their goals. Find win-win situations, find ways to flow with and make sure that everyone can get what they want. Learn to understand other people's perspectives and why people say things a certain way. What do they mean? What are their intentions? And what is it they want? Think about and understand people's motives on a deeper level and ask questions. Ask a lot of questions. Learn from INFPs. Curiosity is key. Learn to ask questions. Learn to find out what people really want. Learn to challenge and to say, hey... I heard you say this, is this really true? Or how do you really feel? INFPs show us to think about how we do things and to never take anything for granted. The surface is never just the surface. There is always an iceberg underneath. What are your biggest lessons from INFPs? 
What is it you think we should all learn from INFPs? And what is it you as an INFP want to teach the world? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.